So by this time, you guys have already read about and learned about recurrence interval. You know that recurrence interval, okay, is the amount of time, and typically it's in years, if we're talking geology standpoint, okay, um, divided by a number of events. Okay, they can be events of a given magnitude, they can be events of a given size, maybe a um, number of events that uh, produce a certain amount of destruction, whatever it may be, but it's a, it's a time versus number of events. Essentially, it is a period of time that we have between events of that magnitude. So the example that I'm going to give to you guys, we have this list of all these historical earthquakes in Idaho. Okay, now... What I want to know is, what is the recurrence interval of a earthquake of 7.0 or greater? So I'm going to do this one for you guys in Idaho. Okay. Now, again, I need to figure out the time. I need to figure out the number of years for a recurrence interval of 7.0 or greater. Okay. So we're going to take a look at that. And I go down my list. I've actually already done the job of counting up that there was one 7.2 and one 7.0. So there was, has only been one earthquake over 7.0 on the Richter scale. So my, my number of events for this situation will be one earthquake, okay? Now the amount of time, well the first one dates all the way back to 1884 and the most recent date that I have is 1994. So I know then if I take 1994 and I subtract 1884, I'm going to come up with 110 years, okay? So I take that time, 110 years, because that's the amount of time I'm given for this situation, and I know that there was one, re one event of that magnitude. So my recurrence interval for a 7.0 or greater earthquake is going to be 110 years. Now what does that number actually mean? That means that in Idaho this location, we can expect an earthquake of a 7.0 or greater about once every 110 years, okay? Um, that's essentially what a recurrence interval is. Now, again, I got to caution you, we cannot use these to forecast. We can't say that we're due to have one, but we can say that this is about how often they happen. This is about their frequency, okay? So what your job is going to be to do is to figure out how many or what it would be for a 6.0 or greater and a 5.0 or greater. Okay, so you're going to have to go ahead and you're going to have to count up these earthquakes. Okay, the actual 5.0 is right here. Okay, you're going to actually have to count up more than that. Now, that said, that's the front page. Okay, the back page I have something similar, but now we're looking at volcanoes. Okay, again, each volcano icon represents an event. So this first one is one, the second one looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, six, so you would use that. Now, let's assume that this is the, the amount of time that we're going to use, okay? So the past 4,000 years, that's going to be your time, okay? And depending on the mountain that you're going to pick, you're going to have to show the work. Now, I'm going to do Glacier Park, okay? So Glacier Park, I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to say, okay, well, my number of events looks like is six. So recurrence interval is equal to six events, and then the number of years is 4,000. Okay, now I'm not exactly positive on what that number would be. Um, I think it's going to be something like six points or 667, I think, it is what it might be. Not positive. Um, years. Okay, calculate that out in your calculator. I think that's what it would come out to be. Um, but that's recurrence interval. Okay, that's recurrence interval, and that's how we would do um, that type of question. So it's going to be your job to also complete the rest of this worksheet for all the mountains, and then I have a couple little questions I want you guys to be able to answer. Again, we're going to have you do this kind of thing on the test. I want you to be prepared to do so now.